And a few days ago, the Delano Police Department warned about a fake social media post of a missing child being found. That post spreading on Facebook and causing concerns across town. Eyewitness News reporter Mary Peronian explains how this has been an ongoing trend. Mary? Well, you guys, that post is now removed off of Facebook, but that doesn't mean the issue stops there. An expert I spoke to says scammers tend to do this trend the most by using pictures of children. A couple of months back, you might remember the story we did on how a fake post was going around on Facebook using a picture of a random child claiming they had been found in Arvin and asking users to spread the word. Well, the same thing is happening once again, this time in Delano. The Delano Police Department says a fake post is once again circulating across the community, claiming that a three-year-old girl was found behind a home. Police confirmed that the post was, quote, entirely false and had no factual basis. Clayton Alexander with the Better Business Bureau says sometimes scammers find ways to make people believe that it's true. A lot of what scammers do in this sort of situation is they'll use actual photos of missing children. Obviously, they would share that post again, not knowing when usually when this happens, it is a child that has since been found. Alexander says buying and selling groups on social media tend to make these posts the most, which is exactly what we're seeing. What happens is that after people start liking, sharing and um, giving it a bunch of traction, scammers will often enough uh, replace the content of the post with things like, you know, scams for easy money making schemes. And then they'll see a bunch of likes and shares on it and think, hmm, maybe this is legit. But this isn't just happening here in Kern. Delano PD posted the picture on Facebook to warn the community that it's not real. Many people commented under saying that they have been seeing tons of similar fake ones. And others said they saw the same exact post but in a different city. So the question is, how does it circulate across California? It's spreading mostly through what would seem to be um, friends and family. You're living in Bakersfield. Maybe your, uh, you know, your cousin who lives in San Diego or something like that will then see it, share, and then maybe other people that live in San Diego will also see and share it, like it. So it just spreads around. Alexander recommends checking in with an official source, such as the police, as well as the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, to confirm if the child is really missing or not. Reporting in studio, Mary Peronian, Eyewitness News. Hi, I'm Rochelle Murcia with Eyewitness News Bakersfield Now on YouTube. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel where we have tons of great content to choose from. While you're here, go ahead and click on the subscribe button right there. That way you can stay up to date on all the things related within Kern County. Thanks for watching.